NMN or NR? Which one should you take? I want to get into that. It's a question that comes up often. I also want to talk about liposomal forms of either one. And is that a viable way or a better way or a cheaper way to boost your NAD levels? I want to answer that with some information that I've come across recently as well. As far as NR versus NMN, both boost your NAD plus levels, which can provide you with more energy and more focus. Basically, you'll have a more youthful feel healing from either one. Be more productive. I call it that productivity window that tends to start closing for a lot of people around 50 to 60 years old. For me, it was 55 when the window was just shut and I pried it back open by boosting my NAD levels. I took NMN. I wasn't as informed at the time about NR. The story that I was hearing was the NMN story, primarily from David Sinclair, who prefers NMN over NR. However, he would acknowledge that NR in his studies also boost NED levels. There are some arguments for NR that I want to be fair about and bring them up. Just because I made this decision taking NMN doesn't mean NR isn't a viable option for some people out there. In fact, I know many people who are happy taking NR. I happen to know many other people who took NR for a while and switched to NMN and were more pleased with the results. So you kind of have to weigh that for yourself, take a look at the options, and see what's best for you. Take Do Not Age, for example. They sell 60 capsules of NR for $45. They sell 60 capsules of NMN for $80. They sell a lot more NMN than they do NR. I don't know the exact breakdown. They don't share that information, but I have heard that they do sell more NMN than NR. Also, they have a higher percentage of reorders. I've seen some of that myself through viewers. They have a higher reorder rate from NMN than NR. So people tend to prefer or gravitate towards NMN. However, as I said, NR does boost NED levels and it's less expensive. There's a caveat to that. Many people report to get NR to get them the results that they want, they take two capsules a day. Now, some people do take two capsules of NMN, but I've talked to the people that have tried both and they take two capsules of NR. That kind of negates the savings if you have to take twice as much NR to feel the same as you would from one capsule of NMN. This is anecdotal, this is not definitive. I'm just trying to make the argument for both sides and let you pick what you're most comfortable with. I will say that if you buy True Niagen NR on Amazon, for example, it's around $70 for the same amount of capsules. For some reason, the capsules of True Niagen only come with 300 milligrams. With Do Not Ages NR, you get 350. And you can use my code, the Pulse or just Pulse, and you could save another 10% on top of those savings. So you can get NR cheaper that way if you decide to go that way, but you can also get NMN cheaper and potentially take less of it to get the same results. There's another thing I want to talk about, which was a study published recently. It's been out there lately a lot, been talked about. Chromadex released a study of 39 different NRs that are sold on Amazon. And according to this study, close to 90% of those were either not NR at all or had less NR than they claimed to have on their label. The NR sold by Do Not Age is also pure. It's not one of these 39 because they don't sell on Amazon. So just because 90% of the NR sold on Amazon is fake doesn't mean 90% of all NR is fake or that you can't buy any other NR than that from Chromadex. You can get NR elsewhere, but I would be very careful where you get your supplements in general. And Amazon, as we've said many times here, is not a trustworthy place to buy supplements. As many as two thirds of the supplement on Amazon has been shown to be fake in general. So it's not just unique to NR or NMN. Another thing that this study brought up, which I thought was quite interesting from Chromadex, was the fact that liposomes are not a very good way to deliver NR and NMN. And they went further to explain this. What I've heard in the past from a couple companies that sell both NMN and NR and don't sell liposomes, the reason they don't is they say, and they state quite bluntly, that the reason some people sell liposomal forms is to include less of the ingredient 
and increase profits. Be that as it may, this study goes further than that and talks about the delivery mechanism for liposomes is usually an oil or water, but that will degrade NMN or NR in just a few weeks. You can't have those being delivered in any kind of water or liquid capsule. So what some companies have tried to do is dry their liposomes so that they can deliver it that way. But in many cases, the liposomes start to break down when you dry them, so they don't even improve bioavailability of NR or NMN as they do with some other dietary supplements. So liposomes for NR or NMN is probably not a very good way to take these supplements. They don't lend themselves to liposomal forms very well, just based on the fact that liposomes prefer to be in water where they remain intact and NR and NMN break down in water. The other way to try to boost your NAD levels is to take NAD, just take the actual NAD. However, many scientists report that molecule is too large to enter the cell membrane. So you're not actually gonna get a long-term boost of NAD levels by just taking some form of NAD, including NAD shots. So you're better off taking some sort of NAD precursor like NR or NMN. Again, probably not liposomal form. So these are questions that come up quite often. Which one should you take? And should you take the liposomal form of either one? I hope this has provided some guidance for you. I'll see you guys soon.